Let us celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. From her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth and peace, the people of the good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, have your King. God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In part to your servants we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the peace of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deep and peace to those for whom the birth of her son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son who lives and rests with you in the age of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Michael. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah. From, from you shall come forth for me, one who is ruled to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from the ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord. In the majestic name of the Lord is God, and they shall remain for now in his greatness, shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Our response to the psalm is, With delight I shall rejoice in the Lord. With delight I shall rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight and has rejoiced in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the song of justice, Christ our God. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found a child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child and been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be the child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and pray to the Lord. In the morning, Times. Is anybody celebrating his or her birthday today? My sister. Okay, by extension, we wish your sister a happy birthday. <laughs> Beloved in the Lord, we have three nativities. We celebrate three nativities in the church. And uh, that of John the Baptist, who is a forerunner of our Lord Jesus Christ. That of our beloved mother, which we celebrate today, and that of Jesus. And we celebrate so many feasts and memorials. But most times, if we do that, we usually celebrate their victorious entry into heaven. But these three I've mentioned, they are extraordinary. So we remember the birth, the beauty, when the old is put to pass, as we hear from the prophet maker. And the new takes hold. Anything that is coming forth, anything that comes you know, into being, or anything that has been restored, is always beautiful. And that is what we see in this feast. Mary, from the beginning, was chosen for this role, designed for this purpose. But if we say that and stop at that, we shall be doing the service to our own self. But as we go forward through the whole incarnation process and our history of our salvation, we remember most importantly that Mary, as the mother of God, cooperated. She was willing to fulfill the role that she has been called and designed to perfect or to fulfill. And that is most important because from that very moment, she said, let it be done to me according to your word. That is when the whole purpose came to, uh, came to its own fulfillment. We can also think and say, Mary would have said, okay, I'm not in for this. But I say so because we have all been destined and prepared for the purpose. The gift we have all received is that we are sons and daughters of God. 
And our purpose is one, that we shall serve God on the face of the earth and return unto Him. Just like the Pentecost Catechism reminds us, God made me to love Him, to serve Him, and to be happy with Him in the new world to come, in the age to come. The question before us this morning, as we remember and as we celebrate the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary is, how well have I fulfilled my own role or the call that God has given me? How purposeful, how ready am I to cooperate with the will of God? And that is what we need to ponder about as we join in, in our today's activity. But above all, beloved in the Lord, it is a good news because as we hear through the, towards the end of the gospel, it says that his name shall be Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And that is a very, very powerful statement. God is with us. And again, when we go back to the scripture, Romans reminds us, if God is for us, who can be against us? So anything we do, whatever we participate in, we should always remember and be proud that we as sons and daughters of God, we need the presence of that gift of redemption that Mary brought forth. And I say we need that much more in this our time and age, more desperately. Because we need that maternal motherhood to shield us, to join in with us amidst all that is happening in our lives and in our journey of faith. So in thanksgiving for the gift of this day, when we remember our loved ones, when we remember ourselves, when we remember everybody, and when we remember the bench, the day that we came into this earth, it is a day of rejoicing. It is no different that we rejoice in thanksgiving for the gift of the Blessed Mother, our own mother, and the mother of the Savior of the world. Let us bring our needs before God, whose will is to save humanity. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord in his divine goodness watch over and care for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace in the world, may God's love and justice by those in power and authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those suffering from any affliction, may Jesus give them peace and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this congregation of faith, may the Lord make us holy as a blessed Virgin Mary, who was holy and full of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray in thanksgiving for all our children returning to school in Catholic education. That the grace of God and the gift of the Holy Spirit will be with them. Calm our fears, calm our anxieties, Above all, grant us his protection and success. Let us pray to the Lord. For, the Lord For all who have died, especially Joseph and Boris, the petition for this Mass, may they rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For, the Lord. For our private petitions, and all who are parts of our praise, that the grace of God may visit them, and through the bed day of our Blessed Mother, grant us redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 
God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast day of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true your goodness we have this bread we offer you, who held the earth and works of human hand to take the come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this when we offer you to help the vine and works of human hands, it will become for us as spiritual children. Pray, beloved, from the Lord, that my sacrifice and yes may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of our Lord's name. For I will do the good of all his holy spirit. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he who has his birth in the Blessed Virgin Mary did not diminish but consecrate our integrity by taking from out now our wicked deeds. Make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. We praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who proclaim your kindness as we echo our humble hymn of praise. For truly, even to its end, you have done great things, and have extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look in the lowliness of your handmaids, you gave us true heart the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, and Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son You are indeed holy, O Lord, the hand of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up.
In a similar way, when Sarah was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection unto the again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as part, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be copious the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him wait him in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yes, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen.
We call the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, our Lord, 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 See an act of spiritual communion, tribal operation, and spring from hope. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you are already here. I embrace me in that mass of holy to you. I mean not that I shall ever be separated from you.
let us pray. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offering, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from power was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God be with you be humble, we pray. And be our grace of the heavenly host. By the power.